Hey, my boy. A cozy room. Well? Ah, glad to see you made it, Chilbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lady Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. You have not been long in England, have you? I see. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbed, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalt's corner and the Danes of Granderbridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor. Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open. And I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me!
At one time, the title Jarl, now, then you... You are right. I have... into the... By Sigurd's hand, and my own. You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. But this takes no... And so I raise my horn. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! And may all of you enjoy... You think me drunk yet? Your words are blunt enough. My eyes are clear and... There's enough glory in... Just... Attackers! Danes! Bloody cur... Those who can fight with me! of our strength. Kill a 
any who stand in your way! <laughs> who sent you to die here? We are bitten by the gods! <laughs> in the longhouse! Break the walls down! Get behind! No survivors! Burn them to the ground! Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. Are there colors and markings? I believe they come from Giedland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Ah. Ah. Have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is... As we were ordered. By whom? Useless out, scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silent and kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more, who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Ah, an 
new letter. 